Hey guys, David Bivo here for Paintable, and today I come at you with a special video, something that I don't do often. I'm going to do a small unboxing video about myself in iPad Pro 12.9 inches, so the big one. Super excited. I'm excited about the iPad, but even more about the Procreate app that finally I'll be able to try and give you guys tip with it. But I'll start this video by just showing you a little bit of an unboxing. Apple has such amazing packages for their product, so I want to just show them to you. But really, this video is going to be just to give you my first impression of what is the Procreate app for me and uh, how do I feel about working on iPad finally after years of working on a Wacom tablet with my computer. So this is very a first experience for me and I'm really really looking forward to share it with you. And so in this video, you won't hear me talk about the specs of the iPad, the CPU, the RAM memory, and all that stuff. You're going to find plenty of other videos online to be able to learn those things. What I really want to give you is what it is to work on an iPad when it's been years that you're working on a Wacom tablet. So the, the change between the two of them, what are the big difference and what did I feel and where, where were my difficulties as a professional artist to start working with an iPad? And so I've been working with the iPad for about a week now, so I feel a little bit more comfortable. But during the time that I was trying it this week, there was one question on my on the top of my list that I wanted to answer. And it was, is the Procreate app powerful enough to actually do professional work as an illustrator? And the short answer here is definitely yes, it is that much powerful. But I want to give you just a little bit more uh, knowledge about it and how I felt while using it. So to make sure that I was able to answer that question, what I did is I first draw an illustration on Photoshop that took me a certain amount of hours. And then I decided to do the exact same illustration, but with Procreate. This way I would be able to actually compare the two of them with the same exact process, the same exact illustration and see the comparison between the two. I must say that at first it was really, really hard. I felt like a beginner. I took the pen, I started to draw and everything was different. When you're used to looking at your screen and working on a Wacom tablet on the side of your computer and to finally work like you were working on a piece of paper, you would think that it would be easier to actually do so because, well, this is the natural way to do things when you're working traditional media. You work directly at the piece of paper and where you're drawing, not on your screen with your hand on the side of it. But strangely enough, it was really hard and difficult for me to actually do the translation between the two. It took me definitely a few hours to just feel comfortable to find Finally, work a little bit more like a traditional artist where I'm looking at my screen and draw directly on it. Now, part of the reason why I felt so much like a beginner was because I didn't know the Procreate app yet and I needed to just basically learn all the shortcut, how to move things around, how to change the brushes and all that jazz. And that took me definitely a little bit of time. Actually, if I have to compare the two illustrations, the first one, the one in Photoshop that I created, took me about five to six hours. The one in Procreate took me about 10 hours. It was that much more long because I had to change my brushes and look at where there were the brushes and then try the brushes before I could actually paint what I wanted to do. But overall, I was amazed to see that Procreate has all the same tools that I'm using in Photoshop. Every layer has a different blending mode. You have all the brushes, erasers, selection tool, even the liquify, which works great on Procreate. I was really amazed by it. It was flowy. There was no lag. Even in Photoshop, sometimes with my illustration are really big, I have some lag, but I had no lag whatsoever in Procreate. So when it comes to the tools, if I had to compare the two of them, they are very, very powerful. There is a few details that Photoshop will have more. Obviously, it is a bigger, more complex software, but Procreate, when it comes to time to do illustration, is very, very powerful. Now, I really tried to have the same workflow in both illustrations. So I started with a sketch line and then I did my flat colors and then I started to add my light and shadow and start to blend the whole thing. And obviously I was way faster in Photoshop when I started the illustration. But then again, I have almost 20 years of experience with Photoshop where I had zero experience with Procreate. So you gotta put that in line. The shortcut are definitely something that also helped me be faster in Photoshop and I had to learn all the, the different gesture that you can do on the screen was a learning curve for me. Overall, I think that if I had to continue working with Procreate, I would get very, very fast. I would still be a little bit faster, I think, with Photoshop, but not quite much. It's just that having a keyboard and shortcut makes things that much easier when it comes to time to have shortcut and change your tools really fast. 
but this is really just adding or subtracting a few seconds in my workflow. It's not the big deal. I think that Procreate overall has lots of great gesture that will make sure that your workflow goes really, really fast. One thing that was funny actually is during this exercise, what I realized is I tend to change my brushes uh, way too much. And that's something that I can work on now that I know it. Basically in Photoshop, it is so easy for me to change brushes. It takes me a second. When in Procreate, it took me that much more time that I was kind of reflecting on the fact that I should try to not change my brushes too many times because it's really slowing me down. So that's something I can definitely work in the future. Now, beside the software and where are all the brushes and the gesture and all that jazz, the big difference was the fact that I had a different hardware. Now, I was drawing on a screen, a glass screen with an Apple Pen. Now, the Apple Pen itself is beautiful. It works perfectly. You can tilt it. It's amazing, but it's also that much more heavy. So heavy that at some point I realized that I was grabbing so hard that I was getting a small cramp in my hand. And that was a big difference. If I were to draw for hours and hours, I guess that my hand would get that much more tired compared to my Wacom tablet where my pen is easily just three times less heavy. So that was one of the differences that I saw. But beside that, drawing on the glass was not that weird. It took me definitely a little bit of a learning curve and I got myself a small glove to help me just slide smoothly on the surface. And I would definitely recommend that. So after a small week of work, a few hours of pleasure working with Procreate in the iPad, I gotta say that this is probably one of the perfect kit for any beginner if they wanna be a professional or a hobbyist. I think that this is a really nice kit. And if you want to start with it, the first thing I would do if I were you is, once you open uh, Procreate, make sure to open also the handbook that Procreate has created to give you all the shortcut and gesture. Those gestures will make your life that much easier when you're gonna start learning it and down the line really speed up your workflow. It's something that I did. I just went from A to Z, read the whole thing, and it really helped me learn how Procreate works first. Now, if I had one last tip for you with my experience, my first experience with Procreate would be to not start with a portrait if it's the first time you're doing it. It was a little bit of a challenge, even for me. I would start with something a little bit smaller, like a small exercise, a small illustration, maybe something like the ultimate beginner's guide. I'll put a link below this, uh, this video in the description for you to check it out. I think this would be the perfect size of an exercise to start learning Procreate. And so this video was simply my first few hours, my first impression on Procreate. I would love to know your first time that you use Procreate. What did you do? Did you find it easy or hard? And what was the first illustration that you created with Procreate? Put this in the comment below this video. I'm looking forward to read them. For the rest, I'll make sure to create more video about Procreate now that I have an iPad to give you more tips and tricks. And that's it. Have a good day guys and happy painting. And that's it for this video. To make it easier for you, I put a link to all the products that I've been using in this video in the description. So you can go ahead and click on it if you want them. For the rest, if you want to learn more about digital painting, you can click on the next video or subscribe to not miss anything else. I'm looking forward to see you in the next video, guys. Happy painting.